guys, Abby here. I thought I'd show you all how I'm cutting into my steak for the first time of actually a garment. Um, I hope you enjoy. So I've reinforced the, um, we're going to do the steaks down the centre. So it's all the way down the cardigan. And then you've still got your live stitches, which you do the eye cord bind off afterwards. It gets anchored onto these, um, I think it's like the five stitches here have been already bound off. And then there are another five stitches up here that have already been bound off. So you anchor the crochet to them. So now it is time to cut. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'll work my way up towards the top. Okay, here we go. Get this bits out of the way. It's a bit tricky with the needles. And it's oh my god, it's not working, it didn't work, it didn't work. Okay, um shit. So I don't know what happened there, but I pulled it a little bit and these stitches came loose here. Oh, it's distorting. I'll try and bring the focus down. Yeah, that's better. So they came loose here and you can kind of see that they've come out there. But I cut a bit more and it's totally fine up here. So I wonder if I did something wrong down there. And you can see... Oh, I'll try and bring that down the focus there. So they're all encased fine. You give them a gentle tug, they're not going anywhere. And then further up here, they're fine. So something, I must have done something wrong down there, so. I don't know what I'll do to fix it. Maybe I'll just, it might be okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I will keep cutting. You can see it's fine now. It's all sitting. Fine. Oops, scary. I don't didn't have that when I was doing the swap, that's for sure. I just pulled it because it looked like I had snipped the um, reinforced crochet, but it's actually a float from underneath. It's actually really hard. I probably shouldn't have chosen such a similar colour to the green. You know, this green to this. It looks quite similar, especially on the inside. This is really quite scary I'm not doing it through the yoke but but it's it's all staying it's, it's all good and so I weaved in all my ends before I haven't snipped them yet um and it says in the pattern to make sure you weave them in on the opposite like going away from the stick so you're not like weaving in where you're going to be cutting which is good sense but I didn't really think about that to be honest And you can actually see that it is pulling it naturally with the crochet reinforces pulling the stitches open so you can see that little line there where the snip. Get those threads out of the way. Coming up to where I bound off. Okay, maybe it's something to do with the bind off because these stitches are starting to move a little bit. So I'm not going to pull on them like I did last time. But I think that is fine. And then that is all cut. So, 
but I reckon here something's gone on down here but I'm sure pick out stitches it'll be fine I think and to be honest on the front it doesn't look like anything I think maybe just to see like the this crochet here is a bit looser so the tension that might have caused it but it's actually it's not going anywhere anywhere else so I think it's fine I will now to do a stick sandwich so I'm pretty sure I haven't read that next step of the instructions fully yet but you pick up stitches knit a bit and then you somehow like wrap it under and it'll completely encase it so that's there and it'll be kind of like wrapped in so you're not going to see anything now to go do that. <laughs> 